My name is Elias Kotsireas. I am a professor of computer science here at Wilfrid Laurier University. The type of problems that I work with, uh, hard combinatorial problems with uh, hundreds of discrete variables and trying to find solutions to these problems, you have to, to deal with exponentially large search spaces. So you need efficient algorithms and of course very efficient programming. If you're not computer savvy, as many, many researchers, for instance, they could be political scientists. Political scientists that um, simulate how an election is run. They run models, models to simulate an election and to predict the outcome. These are, uh, you know, very time-consuming uh, computations. Then astronomers, doctors uh, in protein folding, uh, you know, all, all these uh, problems are very important problems for society. They have the same characteristics as, as my problems. They, they are very CPU intensive. My name is Dan Desjardins, CEO of Distributive, and I'm a computational physicist. Five years ago, we started this company with the goal of making computational problems like Ilias's easy to launch over a million computers so that they can get their answers quicker. We found a way to extract all the compute power from all the idle computers on these university campuses at no cost to those universities. We have this illustration of Homer. He's looking for the needle in this large haystack. To illustrate exactly what we're trying to do, we are splitting the haystack in so many pieces, in millions of pieces, and looking at each one of them in parallel, and then solving this problem separately. That's the, the beauty of the DCP technology. That's why I was attracted to it instantaneously when I found out about it. We see compute as the currency for knowledge creation and that currency is not evenly distributed, which is what we at Distributive are trying to accomplish by unlocking the world's compute. When uh, the professor first looked at the problem as though it was you know, computationally impossible, basically. Literally, just by virtue of the fact that you are spreading the problem out, I think even that on its own immeasurably helps the researcher grasp the shape of their problem much more distinctly. They can break it up and see the problem and explore the problem. I think that can really unlock insights that, that were underlying the problem the entire time. So these computers, I mean, it doesn't look like much, but they're doing a lot of computational mathematics right now. They're not in use by anyone. So as soon as the screensaver comes on, it's doing compute. As soon as I walk up to the computer, and I do something, the screensaver dies, it instantly stops doing compute and gives the computer back to me. And whenever the computer is idle, the screensaver comes on, compute gets done, results get submitted to the researcher, it's that easy. So the whole goal is let's double, triple, quadruple the compute capacity across the country and abroad to allow researchers like Ilias and others to tap into all that capacity to make tomorrow happen today, to do innovative research to solve huge problems. We're hoping that researchers all around the world reach out and, and see how we can help them and help their universities, their colleges, their high schools in the same way that we, we helped Ilias. Um, this is no cost for academic institutions um, and it's ready. It's ready to power and accelerate innovation around the world.